extra minutes. Are there those within the church that don't like this new pope? Well, uh, <clears throat> right now we are in a honeymoon. We love the new pope. Actually, we always did love any new pope, but we love this pope in, in an absolutely new and uh, enthusiastic way. Uh, but as you know, uh, any, any innovator this pope says of himself uh, and tells everybody that he's going to innovate, every innovation is bound to create opposition. This thing we know for sure. You make it sound very sinister. Well, this, this is going to be a tough job, even for a, a quote, anarchic pope like Pope Francis. A great innovator is bound to have great enemies and to have great, tremendous opposition. The opposition won't be in the religious field, won't be in the moral, will not be in the moral teaching, will be in the practical roots of Catholic power from an economic and banking point of view. That's where really you, you, this Pope is going to prove himself. May I say, uh, I have great hopes. He might succeed. You know why? Because he, he tackles the problem not directly. <laughs> He's too smart for that. There's too much of a Jesuit for that. No, but he, 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 he attacks his, his well, enemies, let's call them enemies anyway, his opposition. He attacks them, uh, I think, uh, uh, from, from, from behind, uh, from a side, uh, sideways. How is he different to his predecessors? Now, let's take uh, the two major predecessors, uh, John Paul II and um, uh, Josef Ratzinger, Benedict XVI. Uh, John Paul II, many people have said, here, we have again a new edition of John Paul II. Wrong! This pope is completely different. John Paul II was a marvelous entertainer, was an actor, was a performer, great performer. Uh, capable to charm uh, immense crowds. But it was also on the stage. The great difference is, is here. A, a, a performer, an actor is on the stage. This pope is not on the stage. The other pope, Josef Ratzinger, is a theologian. He's in the library. One was on the stage, the other one in the library. This one is in the, with the people. He's on the square, he talks. You know what, he, when he started saying the first speech, he says, well, have a nice lunch. People, they were incredible, right? He cares about our lunches. That's what the reaction of it, that's why people are going to St. Peter's Square for the first time, overflowing with people, even if it rains. Why? He's one of us. He's one of us. He's one of the people. Yes. He's one of us, and uh, fr may I say, we, uh, I suppose his security people must be frightened to death. Because when he's in the Papa Mobile, you know, the automobile goes through, he gets out, he goes, you know, he's, a, he's not afraid. Uh, if he upsets enough people, could his life potentially be at risk? Well, yes. Politician can be killed, they were killed. Kennedy, Morrow. The other, uh, John Paul II was a target, he survived. This Pope knows that. We don't have to send him any statistics of incidents on the, on the workplace. He knows it. He's not afraid. That's what, that's what I said. He gets out of the Papamobile. He, he walks among people. I think this, uh, you're quite right. Uh, the possibility is there. The precedents are there. I, I praise him. I recognize in him a forceful, fearless leader, great, great leader, great pope. To be a great pope, even for non-believers, first of all, you have to be a great man. This man seems to, to have the right five, the stuff of the great leader.